As medical centers already face a crushing wave of Delta patients, new predictions for Omicron are ominous. By the end of Christmas week, the CDC now predicts the variants will fuel a massive spike in new infections, up to a 55% increase, 1.3 million cases in just seven days. But the grimmest prediction, the death toll could shoot up 71%. The CDC says well over 15,000 lives could be lost in a single week. In Philadelphia, the health commissioner making this holiday plea. Please do not get together with other households for Christmas, or if you do, keep those gatherings small. This morning, our future looking more like our past as lines for COVID testing grow and mass vaccination sites like this one at Fenway Park are set to reopen. Closures are once again rippling across the nation. More schools are turning to remote learning. Apple stores in three cities now shuttered because of a rise in infections. With more employers considering booster mandates, experts say Omicron cases could double every two days here in the U.S., even though existing vaccines may offer less protection than they did against earlier strains, they still appear to fend off serious illness. If we didn't have these tools, I would be telling you to really, really be worried. <laughs> but we have tools. So get vaccinated, get boosted. But with tens of millions still unvaccinated and many past due for boosters, the most dangerous surge is still likely weeks away. This morning, a somber reality as our country faces the prospect of another dark winter ahead. As cases rise here at home, Omicron cases are spiking overseas, particularly in the UK, where just this morning there are reports that the Queen is canceling a pre-holiday lunch with her family at Windsor Castle to avoid putting anyone at undue risk. Savannah. All right, Miguel, thank you. And hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.